Hello ladies and gents, I am Inadifin and welcome back to Stellaris, playing with the Mandate of Lavis Prime. In the last episode, or at the end of the last episode, we had begun a war with the Awakened Ascendancy. They're going to annihilate us, basically. They have a fleet in our system with 289,000, I thought 287,000. Uh, compared to our little fleet, that's currently being blockaded, of about 40,000. Things aren't going well. Things are not going well at all. However, the hope is that my allies will, because it's their war, essentially. We failed the war. Right, so already we're down by five. Things aren't going well, it seems. Our society research is still going. That's, that's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, that's things aren't... Complete. I'm really not too sure how we're going to fight this off. Hopefully the friendly fleets will actually engage. It seems that like they're just losing battle after battle. Um, Construction complete. So I should are any of these mine. Complete. It doesn't look like anything of this is mine. So, might not take too badly out of it. Just looking. Um, I can't see anything. It looks like it is just all these ones around them. Still, that isn't very good. Just try and get. I might be able to sneak round, but honestly, with that fleet, it's, which is actually enforcing, it's actually getting stronger. Things aren't going to go very well. Right, let's claim commandos, G Mario army. Seems from G Mario is really good. So honestly, I don't really mind too much about that. Let's get this going. So that is good. Let's build another mega structure. Let's get another habitat out of this. See if we can actually make a significant force to be reckoned with. We are currently losing. Oh, loading. Let's merge the fleets. Get some more of those, get and then load more destroyers. Since they are armed with the light armament needed to destroy the fighter swarms. Construction complete. They're back. Really annoying if they actually destroyed the south post. Colony established. Okay, let's build. Paradise Dome, there's District. Ok, 
Don't read revoked. Okay, yeah, I do want to improve this, but I can't because I can't afford it. Planet lost to invasion. Oh, heck, planet lost to invasion. Seems to be going up here. Okay, they are currently beating us back. I just don't feel my fleet of 45k is going to be able to do much. Construction complete. Construction complete. Get me a bit more built there. Most recent habitat, it seems. I do want to build some additional structures on its surface. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. That one. Complete. And that one. Fantastic. Unrest is gone, it seems. Right then, let's try. Where's this fleet at? Hmm. It's a lot of destroyers and a lot of battleships. Oh, what's that? Hostile fleets, fleets present in my system. And take out this one again. Almost 300,000 now. It's a ridiculous huge army. Construction complete. Doesn't make them all of a significant threat though. So they used to send them out in smaller groups, which you could take out piecemeal. Though this seems like that will no, no longer be possible. Okay, the forerunners. Yeah, it looks like everyone is going to war with everyone else. So it says it's the second. I mean, there's another 100k, 300k thing going around somewhere. Uh, I surely hope not. Still, yep, it looks like. Oh, can you train your mama soonish? That will be. We have a tiny modicum of defenses. Fleet power. So they don't believe they can do anything against us, which is about right. Transport fleet. See, so they've got about 50k there. If we all piled our resources together, we could actually take them on. Complete. Just trying to organise them all to work together is the difficult thing. Incoming transmission. Yeah, I agree. Um, went normally for something like that, but I do agree.
I'll go to latest designs there. And so hopefully make them quite a bit stronger. Nice. Enemy troops landing. Lost to invasion. Like, so they just instantly invade me and take me out there. Well, the war is the war score is not too bad. Research complete. Ooh, excellent training armor. Density munitions, kinetic damage increased. Now let's get carry operations. Let's colonize this. Ooh, nice. Jump drive. Yes, jump drives will be really useful. So if I can upgrade all my fleets with a jump drive, that will actually allow me to attack the core systems with minimal reprisal. So if I can take out that. Upgraded. Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. Construction complete. It's complete. Auto complete, yes. It's auto completing all of these guys. Better impulse thrusters. So those guys should know will be upgraded. Core se system sectors have increased. Excellent. Frontier Hospital. Energy Siphon. Comms there, improved strike craft. Let's go for it. Chip designer. See, point defense can I actually get a hangar core. So the hangar would be useful. Well, the thing is, three medium slots is what I want. Really, if I want anything, it's going to reduce, change the rear one to a flat cannon. Now the battleship could. I could actually go for a hangar core. Rather than the currently artillery. So it's the large artillery, because it should then have a hangar core with fighters. Hmm. 
this might be worthwhile going for. What's the range difference? 85, yeah. So they've got plasma there. Zero point reactor. Can I have another hyper shield? I can. So this will now... We'll have as many weapons, but the fighter wing will definitely be useful. And the kinetic battery, and giga cannon there. No, I think I just want to keep them purely as bombardment ships. Yeah, so like that. Go take them up to kinetic artillery, though. So something like that, neutronium armor. And also the improved impulse thrusters, all that stuff. That good. New upgrade, new upgrade there. Let's save that as well. Destroyer. Also complete an upgrade. I'm going to go for kinetic artillery. Tracking 5%. Yeah, I think I do, actually. So destroyer. And the corvettes themselves sort of complete. Like that as well. So save that design there. My concern is I don't have much fighter defense. I think I'm going to have to change change my designs without fighter defense. I think I am going to lose this fight. So I do the long range bombardment, which ignores lo lots of shields. I think this is the best way to do it. So this go for the plasma cannons and then also the hangar, go for the fighters. That, two of those, can do another hyper shield? I can. So upgrade that there. Colonization in progress. Build another battleship, I think. Or two. A couple there. Another couple of destroyers for the long range artillery, it seems. Ships upgraded. Situation log updated. Dark cruiser. Right, so the fleet is getting a little bit stronger, it seems. But not by much. So moving in to attack other systems, it seems. And that is fine by me. They're not attacking me anymore. Should not put it there, should I? Needs at least five population on the planet. Okay. Did 
Doing okay around all these systems, but... Because this habitat... His habitat's doing alright. Let's colonise this planet. Um, colonise it probably about there, I think. See, it's playing very tall, getting a lot of systems in a very short area. Cool. The Paradise Dome. Construction complete. Leisure district. Exactly what I want. Get more and more energy as well. Research complete. One energy credits is also good. Empire Unity. Yes, that would be very nice. Additional 10% unity across the board. Extra fighter wings. Improved fighter wings, I mean. And then, once again, go even more advanced. Uh, let's pause for a moment. Communicate with these guys. So almost use up all my energy there, but no matter because I can now use this to build a new mega structure, new habitat. Construction complete. Let's just keep on upgrading this. Solar and hydroponics. Cancel that. Hostile fleet movements. Oh, it's, they're back. Potentially, I should be able to destroy that. If you destroy their little armies, then they won't be able to attack us. But for that, I really need jump drives. Tile blocker cleared. Okay, they're currently bombarding this planet, aren't they? And they're coming over to bombard it. That's fine, I guess. Just need to wait for that hyperdrive. Only three months remaining. Which is good. Really need to upgrade the fleet. Sentient AI. Let's hopefully we'll actually be able to move with the fleet when it's got that. Or I might have just messed it up. In progress. No, if I messed it up, then it's things learned. Plant lost to invasion. Plant lost to invasion, okay. So there go the troops. Big potential to be able to kill those. Research complete. Research complete. Jump. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, research Institute, I think, would be a very nice little feature to take it. Go for. And now, need to go to Ship Designer and auto upgrade all these. Let's complete it. Save. The auto upgrade everything. Right then, let's upgrade the fleet. So they're currently liberating my forces, which is nice. These guys are still encroaching on my territory. My would-be ally is basically strangling me. Very annoying, I say. Still, saying that I am doing rather well for myself with the number of habitats and planets I now have. means that my population is rather huge. Construction Just a bit complete. annoying that some of these places have been colonized. Ships upgraded. The Glorious Alliance, fair enough. Colony established. Propitious Alliance doing okay. So this fleet now has a jump drive capability. A very important thing. Head over there and upgrade. Ships upgraded. And now I just need to build some more ships. Battleships and probably a couple more cruisers. A couple more destroyers. Come on, stop attacking my systems. Aggression practice broken. Hostile fleets are present. So, how are they doing? Construction complete. See, the fleet, it, they're getting a lot of ships in that fleet. I just need to monitor when they're, when they're attacked and then go attack, join in the assault myself. Yeah, this planet's just being bombarded to oblivion. I don't really care about it much. Enemy troops landing. Planet lost to invasion. Hmm, what do I want to hit on this planet? Probably just mines again. Construction complete. It's there. How's the fleet doing? I'm gonna be over population a little bit. Not massively. Lots of dreadnought armed with lots of things there. Regenerative hull tissue. Research complete. Ooh, new hangar. Hangers there. Strike craft. Yes. Kinetic attack. So 
So battleship. I would like to upgrade you with improved fighter wing. That's good, because now I can upgrade this lot again. Once that joins in, I'll upgrade it again. Upgrade. Ships upgraded. Fantastic, the ships are now upgraded. Push them to 53k. Should be able to get it back. Yes, we can. Right, so they are getting ready to fight, it seems. But they might not. Very hard to tell with those guys. Build a spaceport there. Just clear all of this. Clear everything. Enter orbit around there. First battle fleet. Head over to there. Might be able to do something with this. Right, seed planet reduction. I mean, damage increased. That might. That's probably the best out of the ones for supremacy. No, not civilian ships. So let's colonize you. New habitat there. Need to wait a little while because low on materials at the moment. Consumer goods, yikes, so expensive. Assembly. Mm. Come on. Go on, month to go over. Excellent. Go build another mega structure. Hmm, something seems to be happening. So I'm fleet back. Upgrade them to the latest designs. But yeah, the war has ended. I didn't know this war had ended. Okay, it seems like it must have been just a white piece or something. No matter, that's fine, it means that the war has ended and didn't actually lose anything. Excellent. So, that will be all for this episode, so thank you very much for watching this episode of Stellaris with myself and Adiffin. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and or comment below, as it's always great to hear from you lot. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I shall see you next time. But, until then, I'm out. Goodbye!